it's not even close to being in my wheelhouse. I mean, I've never hosted, I've never hosted anything. So. It's honestly, it's really easy. I mean, I'm, Matt Key did it, so. That's a lie. Like I can barely form a sentence. I know. So you'll regret. Wait, how, how am I dressed like a hipster professor? I don't. Talking to people about voiceover, remember? Uh, what, I don't want to do that. What am I going to say? I don't know how I got my job. I just started acting and following the works. That's fine. Let's just sell that. That's great. That's all I want to hear. Um, are we ready to go? Ready. Wait. No, hey, where, what? where are all the people come from? I didn't agree to anything. Why are we on a spaceship? Liam, you have two choices. You either do this episode of Signal Boost, or we unleash Matt Key on you. You do the voice of Doctor Strange. I have too many questions! Have a good show, bud. I'm Liam O'Brien. Welcome to Single Boost. Good morning, class. If you'd all pull out your VCRs and put in the tape for Kenneth Branagh's Henry V, we'll get started. Uh, oh no, the... The, the V is a Roman numeral for five? No, 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 that's like a really terrible sequel. The, the fifth, just, you know, separate the V from the... Not a great start. Uh, okay, I know what you're thinking. Kenneth Branagh's Henry V? That's how I become a voice actor? Yes, I mean, that's where I want you to start. Anyways, trust me, this movie changed my life. I'd already seen plenty of Shakespeare. Hell, I was in an uncut high school production of Hamlet. Uncut. Apologies to my family for the five hours of iambic pentameter, but uh, until then, Shakespeare was little more than an English class requirement that induced visions of sighing fops and crushed velvet and overlong monologues to skulls, but then swoons. This film comes along, drops King Henry down in an ocean of sweat, filth, and gore, and I am locked in. Branagh's film planted the bard's vaulting language firmly into reality, making it feel raw and accessible in a way that I had never encountered before. I probably watched the damn film 40 times before I made it to NYC, and every elven king, lowly foot soldier, and demon voice I do today, is inspired by the mastery of language exhibited here. You know, the St. Crispin's Day speech and the aftermath of the Agincourt alone are worth the price of admission. Or, you know, the $2 digital rental. Look, you're the one who wants to be a voice actor. See the damn thing and be inspired. Hey, hey, Mr. O'Brien. Mr. O'Brien, would you mind signing my Doctor Strange comics? I only brought a few. Hey, Liam, hey. Um, what spell do you think is the most powerful Doctor Strange spell? It's Crimson Bands of Sidorak or Winds of What Tomb? Bolts of Balthak. Flames of the Fall Teens. Seven Moons of Munapur? Shoot of the Seraphim. Uh, Ruby Rings of Ragador? Demons of Danak. Vipers of Valtor. The Vipers of Valtor. Vapors of Valtor, that's a good one. Fangs of Ferala. Hey Liam, do you want to wear my cloak? Hard pass, Matt. Afternoon class, hope lunch was great. Now, if you don't pull out your digital media players for IDEA, uh, not as in a flash of your own genius, no, this is somebody else's flash of genius, and by Jove, is it ever. IDEA is an acronym for International Dialects of English Archive. This is an online digital resource that holds a massive archive of accents from around the globe. Oh, warning, danger, this is a rabbit hole! IDEA has gathered recordings from every nation on the damn planet, providing a free and invaluable resource to actors in every medium, including acting on the mic. You can find multiple speakers from every nation of various backgrounds and ages reading the same short story about a uh, goose named Kama struggling with uh, foot and mouth disease. Uh, anyway, uh, they also speak about their own lives for a while. Uh, there are other resources you can find out there that break things down phonetically. I have found IDEA to be the best. I've used other resources before too, but for those of us who are basically minor birds uh, and can pick things up by ear, this website is a gold mine. Germany alone has 20 different samples. It is the best. Matt Key is right behind me, isn't he? No! Yeah? I don't like this show anymore. Hey. Do you need anything? 
Uh, you know, Matt, I, uh, I think I got it. Uh, you and I should have a wizard battle. For real? Like you actually are a wizard? You play Doctor Strange and you actually can do this? Hmm, hear that? Quiet. Ooh, so nice. A fun Home by Alison Bechtel. Yes, that Bechtel, whose name is attached to the Bechtel test, wrote an award-winning graphic novel back in 2006 that was later adapted into a 2015 musical that cleaned house at the Tony Awards. It is a coming-of-age tale as Bechtel, a character in her own story, sifts through the memories of her childhood, dealing with such things as coming out of the closet to a dysfunctional family and grappling with the memories of the man who was her father. The musical portrays her at different stages in her life as present-day Allison wrestles with her family's history, asking herself the question many of us do about our parents after they're gone. Who are these people? You know, even after a couple of years of repeat listens, I still put this album on in my car about once a month and ugly cry. Do me a favor, try this. Go to YouTube, search Ring of Keys, Sydney Lucas, 2015 Tonys. Watch, listen, and then tell me that kid isn't seeing and feeling those moments as if they were actually happening for the first time. I spend a lot of my time in the worlds of ninjas, mech pilots, dragon slaying, and ninja mech pilots fighting dragons. Uh, my guess, digital media viewer, is that you do too. And I agree, they're awesome, but it's crucial for you, the burgeoning artist, to strip away the lightsabers and eldritch horror and return to the core stories of people and family. Look, accents and impressions are all fine and good, but if you want to act on mic, you need to revel in the richness of human experience, and Fun Home delivers a hefty helping of it. Always return to the theater. Oh, 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 Liam, this is, what is this, the fart dimension? This is like the worst dimension ever. If you don't leave me alone, I'm going to leave you here. Oh god, no, please, no, 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 I'll do anything, fine, 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 just, I'll leave you alone, just please get me out of here. But like, what's it like to play Doctor Strange? That must be really awesome, right? Okay. No! No, don't leave me! It's just bots, it's nothing but bots! Hey, do you guys care if I just hang around in the background while you shoot the rest of the day? No, no, feel free. Cool, I have so many dad things I have to do, I just, I'm tired. Hey, take your time. Thank you. Hey, Liam! Liam, hey, it's me! It's Matt Key! Hey! Guess what, I'm still in the fart dimension, but it's cool. It's totes cool, don't sweat it, man. I've learned so much, like, time is relative here, so... Hey, like, for instance, I've learned how to talk through farts, so that's cool, right? Hey, so I'll always be with you, which is great. So, hey, quick question, Bolts of Balthag or Vapors of Valtor? Yeah, I'm just gonna slip out. Bolts of Balthag, right? It's totally bolt Bolts of Balthag. Vapors of Valtor. Mm -hmm. Bolts of Balthak. Don't follow me, Matt! I can't help it! Bolts of Balthak, Vapors of Valtor. But it's definitely Bolts, right? <laughs>